Oh, what is going on everybody? We're back in the States and we're gonna start off today in the, the old MTB crib. Well, guess what? It's time to feed Gary. Got an entire pound of little fishies for him to eat. Gary! I'm coming, little buddy. He's right there. There he is. What are you doing, Gary? He's chilling. Oh, he's feisty. He's gonna eat. He is gonna, or oh, of course he's gonna eat because we're gonna put minnows in front of his face. Here we go. He has I'm just gonna put one in there, just right here. All right, Gary, you ready for this? Here you go, dude. Choo! So quick! All right, Gary, you ready? Here goes number two, little dude. Oh! <laughs> it's so awesome. Gary, you still hungry? Oh! God, look how fast they are. Gary, you're such a fast little bugger. You ready? Where you at, dude? Oh! God, dang, you're getting big. You're growing up so fast. You ready? Do gunk. This is so awesome. All right, let's see if we can get one right in front of the camera. I don't know if I have yet or not. <laughs> Look at the skills. Oh, I don't know why this is so abusing to me. Just watching them in their natural habitat. Oh, boom. Come on, Gary, explode on the other one. Explode on the other one. Here's some more. Get him, Gary. God, he's growing up so fast. Might be enough fooling around. Do you need any more? All right, I'm gonna finish putting these in. Gary, enjoy the food. I love you. But now we're gonna catch some bigger Gary's, some big ones. Hopefully we can get some big fish. Over the next five days, we're gonna be doing five or six, seven days. Nothing but like bass fishing. One of the days I might be shooting some long range stuff, which will be Sunday. But other than that, it'll be nothing but bass fishing. I have the feeling ever since I was in Greece that we're gonna stick a giant, a summertime giant, a big, fat, juicy girl, hopefully on a frog. I love me a good old fat girl on a frog. Oh my land. Definitely, definitely, definitely going to be needing some braid today. That frog in action, ooh, I cannot wait. We're gonna really be putting these rods to the test, these travel rods. What do you guys think? Think it's gonna be work? Think it's gonna work? Think it's gonna work? I don't know. So before we get in the water, I wanna let you guys know, thank you so much. We hit 500 grand. We went from 400 to 500 in just over 30 days, which is crazy to me. Absolutely absurd. But I wanna thank you guys by giving away five travel rods. I'll link them at the very top of the page to my Instagram. Just, just comment on the photo. Just comment on the photo like around what time or whenever you, you have subscribed, maybe 100,000, 200,000, 400,000, whatever it was. Just leave, uh, leave a comment on there. And then I will select five random people. I'll send you a DM. Send me over your address and you guys will have a rod shipped to your doorstep. Let's go catch some bass. We got some summertime fishing here. We got a lot of grass, grass, grassy bass, grass bass. I love grass bass. Covered up, head to toe, brought out the samurai hat. Let's get at some bass fishing. Oh my, that is warm. Oh, all right. God, it is warm. This water is gin clear. I bet you guys can see down in there even without a filter on this thing. Look at that. No, no way. Oh my gosh, did that just happen? That did just happen. <laughs> oh my gosh, that just happened. I was fish fixing a little backlash on my first cast. Oh my gosh, it's not a bad fish either. Oh my gosh, it's a good one for the first one. <laughs> Look at that. He absolutely inhaled it. So on the first cast, I was just fixing my drag, fixing the uh, spool tensioner and all that kind of stuff. And all of a sudden, this thing absolutely inhaled it. Absolutely inhaled that thing. Look at it, it is way down in his throat. There, I got it out. It was way deep in there. I just clipped it, pulled it back through, and he is good to go. First fish of the day. Not a bad one. Absolutely just inhaled that thing. Love it when that happens. You know you're on the right pattern already. Look at his teeth. What a way to start the day using a belly weighted swim bait. You guys have seen me use this a lot. This place is full, 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 full of grass. I just spooled this thing up and I was just fixing the, the line tensioner, or the spool tensioner, excuse me, and adjusting the drag a little bit. And uh, that thing, that sucker ate it on the fall. He didn't want to wait at all. He was just gunk. Let's see if there's any more down there. I'm just gonna let that thing sink for a second, I guess. Then just give it a little bit of a, ooh. That was, that was just grass. I just got excited over grass, everybody. Got him. 
little tiny dude. Got him. Another little guy. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in the water real quick. Oh, darts off. A little bit more here. I'll tell you guys this right now. This is getting moved tonight. This is in a horrible, horrible spot. What was I thinking? I wasn't, that was my problem. I wasn't thinking when I made that, or put that together. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. Come on, baby. Oh, it's a good fish, good fish. Get out of the grass, get out of the grass, get out of the grass. Oh, I'm hooked. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one. Oh gosh, it was a lot more pin than I thought. Come on, uh, uh, got him. Oh, there we go. That is a good quality fish right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, what a beautiful fish. Glad I can come back from Greece and stick that one first couple cast. Oh yeah, just, ooh. Well, it looks like my knot wasn't tied very well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just retie that. I tied an improved uh, clinch knot and the, and the line actually came back through. I don't know if I've ever had that happen before or ever really even noticed, but I'm gonna go ahead and retie just to be on the safe side. I'm throwing 15 pound floor right now. Usually I should probably be throwing that braid, but I got a frog tied on, which I'm gonna throw here probably in the next 20 or 30 minutes. It's, I don't know, what time is it? It's 3.30 in the afternoon. I don't really think that's frogging time, but I'm gonna give it a shot here in a little bit. But you guys also know that I love throwing these, these belly weighted swim baits. Put a little under underbelly hook on it, just to get it going. Whoo, you can't resist. Oh, got him. Got him. On the frog. Stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Well, he is not the normal size frogfish you would expect, but I will take him. First frogfish for me of the day. Little dude, nice and green. He's probably, I would say, you are probably the size of old Gary. I should pull Gary out one of these days. Oh jeez, oh that was a, that was a cast for the history books right there. Oh here it goes, I'm about to get, it's about to happen. About to get exploded on. Oh, oh my god I did! Oh <laughs> something small just sucked it under. I know a lot of you guys might not consider this ultra clear water but this would be considered ultra clear water for Texas. Like this stuff is gin clear. Like this would be the, the equivalent to fishing in like those ultra clear lakes up in Canada and Champlain and stuff like that. This is pretty much the Texas equivalent right here. Now we just need one to completely just come up and inhale this frog is what I'm really looking for. Just a giant behemoth, like a 14 and a half to 22 pounder. Something around those lines and something just inhaled it right there. Come on, stay pinned. Stay pin. Oh, geez. A lot more grass than there was bass on that one, but I will take it. That fish just came up and inhaled it. Not the 26 pounder I'm looking for, but I love you nonetheless. And oh, God, Rod just fell in the water. We're good. Fish in the water. There's a spider in this boat somewhere. I just saw it. Where are you at, spider? John would be freaking out right now. Where are you at, spider? Are you in my pants? Did you go up inside the pants? Oh well. If it bites me, it bites me. Just hope it doesn't go to the, the boys downstairs. and We'll be all good. So I'm switching off the frog to a more mellowed colored swim bait. I was throwing a more blue and silver one earlier. I'm gonna throw this one for a little bit, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been watching Iraq and Afghanistan war documentaries over the last few days. I generally go on like these kicks where I just like watch war stuff. And I, I was just thinking about it. I had more fun in Afghanistan than I had at pretty much any point in my life. I, Iraq was boring and very hot and very slow paced, but Afghanistan was fun, fast paced, and I didn't realize at the time that I was, that, that was gonna be one of the best times of my life. I, I just thought it was hell and when was it gonna be over with, but no, that was 100% one of the best times of my life. I feel like I learned a lot about myself over there as well. You know, going back to uh, the whole Iraq, Afghanistan thing I was telling you guys earlier, it's kind of slow. I haven't caught a fish in probably over an hour, but I almost joined if I wanted to fish. Oh, fish, fish, fish. There we go. It's been a while. It's been a while. Stay hooked. 
Stay pinned. Stay pinned, little dude. Got you in the little yak. I'm about to drop my rod. There we go. Finally. All right, let's try that again. It's been a while. And then put you back in the water. The end of water shot was probably not too good on that one. He kind of did his own thing, but. So I've actually got to go pick up a gun today. LWRC has sent me a gun. It came in while I was in Greece and I kind of want to go pick that thing up today and show you guys because I've been waiting on this gun for months, literally months. But you know what I've been thinking about before I caught that fish? I was sitting there just thinking, I guess I haven't really told anybody this, but back before Avery was born, I think Sarah was pregnant. When they first did like the initial invasion, well, now I don't want to say the initial invasion. It wasn't really an invasion. Oh gosh, is that a fish? That's a fish. I'll come back to the story here in a second. Two casts in a row after an, over an hour. Come on, buddy. Get out of that grass. I can feel you popping in the grass. Oh, you popped off. That's probably one of the ugliest hook sets I've had. But, so this may sound crazy, but before Avery was born, I was actually looking into going back over as Iraq as a civilian. Oh, what the heck? Did you guys see that? That was a freaking fish that just came up and ate my line. And that's a fish that ate my bait. That was weird. Come on. Oh, under the boat, under the boat. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, he's hooked. You ain't coming off. And I gotcha. Here we go, I'll finish my story here in a second, but I was actually looking at going over to Iraq and fighting as a civilian. And I was looking at it, but that was right before Avery was born. And Sarah's exact words was, do you really think that's a good idea? But there you go. There's fish number something something. Look at that, he's got a little, he's, his teeth are so sharp. Look at that, his teeth are so sharp that he's got some of the purple from the bait. He just rubbed it off. You are a beautiful bass, you know that? You are one beautiful bass. Oh, he's got a little cataracts kind of deal going on in that eye. Oh, you're still beautiful. So anyway, what I was saying was I was trying to actually go back in Fight. I don't want to say fight. That's a. I don't think. Oh, that's that. That is actually the right works. That's what it is. But fight with the the Kurds against ISIS. I looked actually heavily into it. I know that sounds crazy. I know you probably guys are like, ah, that's he's blowing smoke. No, I'm not kidding. I really was. But Sarah I've made it very clear that it probably was not a very good idea since I was just about to have a child. Because you know, I just I was in that area. I was in Mosul and Kirkuk, and I didn't really do a ton in Iraq. And I thought what was going on was horseshit. And I was like, you know what? If I had a good contact over there, probably would have been a very different story, but everything I could find was super sketchy. And I was kind of worried they wouldn't let me back in the US after that. But there's something you guys did not know, a little bit of, a little bit of odd facts about Rob. So I'm sure there's some of you guys who are thinking Rob is crazy. Always making it up about that stuff we were just talking about in the kayak, but I promise you, I had my reasons why. Yeah. So the reason why I was feeling the need like I was going to have to go over there or felt the need to go over there was because those people I knew they couldn't help themselves like whatsoever. Like I knew it was gonna happen, but you know what? I was wrong. They ended up pushing them out and they did their job. So that's good. I, I don't feel bad, but now we're sitting at the house, chilling, chilling with the, Oh, well, I guess Avery did some art lessons while we were gone. God, that is crisp. Look at that. Look at that beautiful thing. Like, that is, that is a freaking masterpiece. Like, oh, yeah. That's a little close, but, oh, yeah, there we go. That's the way I like it. But that gun was sent to me by LWRC. Thank you so much for sending me a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rifle. I mean, like. All you guys that love guns, like look at this thing. This is the Razorback 2. This thing is a hog slaying machine. I mean, it's such a hog slaying machine, they actually engraved a pig on it. You guys like that thunder thing? You guys hear Avery? Yeah, she's in a fantastic mood since we're back. But I'm telling you, the, the time zone difference is, is still, it's hitting me a little bit hard. Sarah says, I look really tired and I feel like I've hit a brick wall ever since I got home. I'm just kind of like What? The potty book. 